Had enough of anime fights yet? Don't leave just yet. You see, with so many blockbusters headlining the year as it draws to a close, I can't help but release another video focusing on anime fights for you to enjoy. Whether it's good animation, driven storytelling, or flat out awesome visuals, these fights are sure to quench the fighting spirit that thirsts for battles only anime can deliver. Next time you're taking a look back at what an awesome year 2019's been, these fights will surely resurface in your mind. So without further ado, let's dive into the top anime fights of 2019. Ever wondered what a good underdog fight in 2019 looks like? Vinland Saga's got your back. In his latest scene of stringing Torfin with a promise of a duel, Askeladd tells the latter that he'd get his reward of a duel if he would beat an opponent. Now the problem is, that opponent's Torkel the Tall, a jovial yet impenetrable man who lives his entire life for the thrill of battle. This battle's really no contest, as despite mounting a furious opening flurry, Torfin's quickly defeated. The difference in power level is really just too great. Other men would have faltered by then, but not Torfim. Defiant, he manages a final attack before leaving behind to his opponent the revelation that he's the son of Tors, setting up their inevitable next duel. Even with no chance of winning in his current state, Torfin still manages to convey to the viewers his will to win, and one can imagine that for everyone rooting for him, there was a glimmer of hope for a while that he might just pull it off somehow. We have a hero bonanza at number 9 as Garo takes on everyone. He's not named the hero killer for nothing, and despite what anyone might think of the second season of One Punch Man, it did give us something that the first season didn't, an ensemble battle royale against arguably the best character of the series. Having established himself as more than a credible threat, Garo shows off his capabilities in this long, drawn-out rumble against multiple heroes. Using whatever means he has, he smashes, pummels, and flat-out destroys the heroes foolish enough to try to defeat him. It's a fast-paced fighting fiesta that continues the season-long build-up for our hero. In the only fashion that would do it justice, the fight ends with a setup for the fated showdown between Garo and Bang. This won't be the last that we'll see of ensemble battles. In a short while, things are only going to get bigger and better. Literally. <laughs> Small people fighting a gigantic monster has never looked this good before. Sorry Attack on Titan, but we'll make it up to you a little bit later, okay? In my opinion, by far the best episode of Fate Grand Order Babylonia is the one featuring the fight against Tiamat, or more correctly, Gorgon. The entire episode pretty much covers a long fight between Gilgamesh's servants, Ushiwakamaru and Leonidas, trying their hardest to hold off the approaching serpent god. Viewers are treated to a vast array of awesome lines and the servant's signature noble phantasm. I don't even know which NPR liked more, but I am sure of one thing. These MP sure be what the actual FGO game has to offer. I don't need to shield Babylonia any more to you guys. Just look at it and don't tell me you're not encouraged to watch the show right now. It might not be UFO Table behind the new Fate series, but the animation department sure delivered. Wait, you mean it's not UFO doing Babylonia? At least we know your gacha money is being spent well. Don't worry though, we'll be seeing UFO Table on this list again in a short while. Jojo definitely has no shortage of insane over-the-top fights, and I believe that the battle between Doppio and Risotto in Golden Wind is in serious contention for anime fight of the year. This battle showcases the much-awaited powers of Risotto, who's been a consistent looming threat before Diavolo takes over the role of main villain. Metallica's an extremely interesting ability, and Risotto puts it to good use in his attempt to take down Doppio and the boss. The fight offers exactly what you'd expect out of a Jojo fight. Crazy powers, 
eye-catching art and animation, as well as a spectacular finish. Despite not featuring the main characters, this fight's truly one of the highlights of 2019 JoJo, and few moments could come close to it in terms of intensity and ability to keep viewers at the edge of their seats. In the end, Risotto comes extremely close to defeating Doppio until Diavolo takes over. Defiant till the end, he attempts the last resort attack on the latter, but ends up getting shot in a cruel twist of fate. I didn't think that Risotto would win, given the villain hierarchy and all, but gotta say, they had us in the first half there. After several years into its run, Black Clover decided to give us a treat with the fight between Licht and the Magic Emperor Julius. For all the criticism that Black Clover had to suffer through its initial seasons, it certainly turned around and given us memorable fight after memorable fight as the story turns to overdrive. In 2019, one of the pivotal moments turns out to be the fight between Licht and the Magic Emperor himself, Julius. It features two top-tier fighters going at it, and through this fight we see more of Julius's character, back and forth spells and techniques, but despite Julius's arsenal of OP magic attacks, he falls against his nemesis. I had a feeling it happened watching the fight and the trigger really did get pulled. Arguably, Julius could have won easily, but it's his humanity that proves to be the deciding factor. Perhaps things would have turned out differently had it not been Vengeance's body being used. On another note, I think that it's ironic that Julius was betrayed by his close friend and stabbed in the chest. Sounds like a historical figure with the same name, right? Battles within the mind are something of a commodity. Often we see our hero facing off against an evil self or an enemy who tries to invade his mind and turn him to the side of darkness. While such context not that far off from the fight at hand, we gotta hand it to Mob Psycho for giving us a nice display of such a fight in 2019. Battles that take place within one's mind help showcase a creator's creativity and the multiple dimensions in which Mob and Mogami's battle takes place shows just that. Mob Psycho's much acclaimed animation and presentation and take center stage in this battle that's full of twists and surprises. The icing on the cake is the reveal of Mob's question mark percentage mode, arguably one of the titular character's most powerful and amazing forms. If you want an example of good interdimensional fights this year, Mob Psycho's Mob vs Mogami fights worth the watch. With how Attack on Titan took the anime world by storm a few years into the decade, it's just right for it to close the decade with a bang, featuring a triple threat of a fight between the Survey Corps and the three most iconic titans the series has to offer. The fight you've all been waiting for is here and it's epic. The climactic fight against the three titans features noble sacrifices, cool entrances and high octane action, all that you've come to expect of Attack on Titan. The studio didn't disappoint in having the awesome experience come to life in the form of anime. Levi taking the beast titan by himself, Armin's genius plan and Hanji helping save the day, I can't pick my favourite moment from all the ones this thrilling gauntlet has to offer. Just as the defeat of the titans opens up a new door to the world beyond, so does this event mark the lead up to Attack on Titan final season next year. Talk about a battle showcasing how much of a tank our favourite stretchy boy is. If there's one word to describe the theme of this fight, it's resilience. Luffy vs Katakuri isn't as hyped as other major Luffy fights, such as the one against Doflamingo and Crocodile. However, it's in this fight that Luffy shows off his inner strength. We're used to seeing Luffy face off against opponents above his level, but rarely do we see him take this much of a pummeling at once, 
only to get back up without a hint of giving up. That's the fundamental difference between Luffy and his opponent. Just like Rubber, Luffy is far better at bouncing back than Katakuri. This is a fight decided by durability and will, and our hero's edge is what allows him to prevail in the end. In his attempt at being perfect, Katakuri never learned the essence of resilience. Without a support group and numerous experiences like Luffy, he never learned to push onward when the going gets tough. It's pretty poetic, isn't it? Did anyone expect to see the number one fight of 2019 to come so late in the year? A little past the halfway mark of the year and UFO Table decides to drop this bombshell of a fight on us. Leading up to this point, Demon Slayers enjoyed quite a bit of popularity, although the hype from the manga had yet to seep its way to the anime adaptation. Count on UFO Table to turn things around, as the masterfully animated and directed battle against Rui had the entire world talking about this new shonen star. Suddenly, Demon Slayers on everyone's radar, while the mass acclaim and the series memes completely took over the internet. In addition to the wonderful animation and direction, the fight also had its share of suspenseful moments, and coupled with the hair-raising soundtrack and acting, UFO Tables made a winner out of an anime fight that far surpasses what the manga has to offer, a true rarity among adaptations. <laughs> And that concludes this list. Anime's always blessed us with epic fights that would be remembered for years to come, and 2019's overall an exciting year for those who crave the adrenaline that only anime fights can provide.